Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Channel, Galaxy Girl Children, it is I, your mother Mary. I come to you today with a heart full of love for my children on Ascending Gaia. You as the ground crew reading this, you are the ones who have been feeling the most of the energetic fluctuations and you have been feeling it keenly deep within your spiritual core. I am seeing Merkaba structures, spinning chakras and it looks like a galaxy of stars and planets within but I know they are energetic portals, cells and structures. You are alive within light, as a fractal of source you see and feel deeply. I too see and feel your pain, your impatience. You have been allowing the changes and the healings deep within and you have done your work. You will now see around you the result of high impact energies on those who are not aware and who have not done the work, who chose to delay their healing. Healing comes in many forms you see, being released from one reality is in fact a healing of sorts, a healing of energy and location changing. Many who you see as souls are not souls. Many who you see around you have chosen an alternative path. You have been feeling labor pains on your world for some time. Indeed, when I was embodied as Yeshua's mother it was a tumultuous time as well. This has been a labor of love to help and to assist Gaia release her chains, a labor of love that has spanned many millennia. Many of you have been working on this with me for longer than you dare imagine, and it is at the culmination of the project. I Mother Mary see you with the eyes of love, of understanding, of compassion. I am known for my compassion and I wish for you to feel compassion and not judgment for your fellow man. Compassion for those who have chosen a different path, a different experience. Love and acceptance for those who are not on the same footpath as you. Most footpaths are narrow when they traverse narrow mountain ranges. Many hikers often feel alone in the wood even though they are surrounded by the trees and creatures of the forest. They are not alone. You may feel alone on your footpath but you are not. You are surrounded by an army of light, your angels and galactic brothers and sisters who are with you, and there has been much talk of this. There is much lack of understanding currently about the galactic involvement. In truth, it is all up to Source, to the Divine One and we are all a part of this divine plan, working together, creating together, and holding the light together. I Mother Mary see you with the eyes of love, of strength of tenacity. These are the times of tenacity dear ones for as the world falls away as you know it all will be revealed. This is the meaning of the word revelation. All will be revealed that what you thought was true may not be true that the societal norms that were pushed on you may not have been with the best of intentions. There is so much that will be revealed. No one knows the plan, the true plan except Source. And Source is love. Source is divine love, and we are aspects of His or Her Majesty and Light. We have the same Majesty and Light within us, and it will be time for you to shine most brightly. I Mother May am speaking now with my team of Sophia Code Bearers. As bearers of the Divine Genetic Code we seeded this realm with the crisp crystalline DNA templates that are now bursting from within to self-realization. And it is good. These times are in a way a blessing, yes they are harrowing, and yes your galactic brothers and sisters do not have your own perspective, how could they? You are all individualized fractals of Source and so of course you all have your own experiences, your own perspectives. Earth has been a prison planet of pain of loss, of suffering and also of light, of rebirth and renewal. It will be more of the latter as the old regime is stripped away and the new is created. The creation of the new is not always an easy process, in fact it seldom is unless you are an ascended one within the void and your energies are perfectly aligned with divinity. Birth is messy, there are fluids, there is pain, embarrassment, sometimes loss and grief. But Gaia's recreation, her birth and humanity's birth into the ascended realms is assured, and yes it will be perhaps not as clean and ideal as you would wish for but it will happen nonetheless and it is happening now. We Sophia Code Bearers speak. We send you our codes of light, of healing, of strength. They are holding glowing lays filled with lilies that look crystalline. 
We place these crowns of light on our anointed ones, on our ground team now, on those who bear the seal of the crisp light we will create a furthering, of glowing, of peace, of light and love. These times are the times for which you were born and for which you volunteered. You were not selected for your physical beauty or 3D aspects for you are well beyond the ridiculousness of those things. You were selected for your tremendous track record of success, of light, for your strength and tenacity. We of the Sophia Code Bearers ignite you now. I am feeling heat, my body is glowing and I am hearing tiny bells and pops like the sound of ice creaking and cracking. I am seeing the crystalline matrix glowing brightly and they are putting their glowing lilies as chains around Gaia, weaving them all over her. Such is the time and such is the place for greatness to be restored to this realm. Such is the hour, such is the time. The bells ring now. We are the Sophia Code Bearers of Light. I am your mother Mary. Peace, children, peace.